So I've been running this channel for a, a couple years now, almost three years now, and uh, we're about to hit 13,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. And I hadn't done any kind of a question and answer video in a long time, so I thought today would be the day where uh, I'm just gonna answer about 10 of your questions, just some questions that were sent to me. I'm gonna answer those for you the best I can and wanna say just thank you uh, guys for investing in this channel. And uh, here's the questions. All right, this one is from Off Grid. He's got a great channel. Uh, it's, it's a smaller channel right now. Some really fun videos, definitely go check him out. Uh, it says, hey JK, how do you carve out time with a busy family life to go on your trips throughout the year? Now, that's a great question because I think that's the question that all of us have to answer that do these channels. Uh, many of us, like myself, are married, we have kids, uh, we have a job, <laughs> and so, we have to balance all of those things to make it work out. And for me, I work in a church, so being able to get off Sundays is near impossible. Typically, I get out at least once a month. Sometimes I'm lucky and get out a couple times. We make it work. And hopefully, as the kids get a little older, we can make it work a little bit more often. Bradley Dezel, Diesel? Uh, I apologize if I messed your names up because I'm not good at this, but uh, what is the process you use to keep your Catadyne B free filter going? I know you talked about the fact that you have to soak it to prep it for trips in one of the backpacking podcasts a while back. Was hoping you could elaborate on the process you follow for that. Yeah, for me, I don't, I don't, have, I don't have to do it. I've just found that when I do it, it just works really well. Uh, what I like to do is I like to take my B free filter and just fill a glass with uh, distilled white vinegar set the filter in there for about 30 minutes, uh, let that soak up, then I run, to, run it under a faucet, uh, and then I soak it um, in warm water, uh, not not hot water obviously, but just some, some warm water, and I soak it for about another 30 minutes to an hour. If I may lose track of time, who knows, but it soaks. Do that and then uh, clean that out really good and it flows like a charm. It flows like the day I bought it. See, Sean R wants to know, any plans to take your kids backpacking in the future? And how's your weight loss and exercise efforts coming along? Okay, we'll get that first part. Um, I am taking my daughter, she's five. We're gonna do her first backpacking trip this year. Uh, we're gonna do an overnight to the Red River Gorge. Uh, she's still five, so I can't do super long miles or anything with her, but we're gonna hike in a few miles. Uh, there's a big waterfall I wanna take her to and show her, and then we'll spend the night out there camping out. She is super excited. She has been waiting to do this for two years now, and she is super excited about getting the opportunity to do it, so we're definitely gonna be doing that. As far as uh, the weight loss and exercise efforts, I I'm kind of on a little bit of a plateau right now. Um, switching up diets a little bit. Uh, was on keto for a while and then did a diet with my wife that she really wanted to do and now I'm just kind of merging a few things together uh, to find something that's really a good lifestyle diet for me. All right, Singlefoot says, I enjoy your content and would like to know, well, thank you for enjoying the content. Um, have you seen or heard anything in the backcountry that was unexplainable? Okay, so, I had to think about this one a little bit because uh, I remember hiking, uh, it was on the Sheltoe Trace, and, and I'm coming up this hill. I was I was solo backpacking. I was doing a, I think it was like 31 miles uh, of section of the, of the trail by myself, and uh, come up on this hill, and as I'm walking up the hill, this random dude in boots and jean shorts, and that was it, pops out, screams woohoo or something really loud, and just runs off the trail. I don't know, like, it's pretty unexplainable. <laughs> All right, Nathan Bryant says, I love backpacking and camping, but would, would how would you go about getting your spouse into it? Uh, what luxury gear would you recommend to make her feel a bit more home? Bro, I hate to tell you this, but I'm not the guy to ask. My wife will not go backpacking with me. I don't, I don't care. I showed her this question and she still said no, so you, you may have to ask somebody else about that one. Ginger Rush asks, who do you usually go hiking with and what is it like hiking with multiple people? Hiking videos overplay people walking in front of a camera. I want to see the social side of backpacking. Um, I have a few guys that I, I like to backpack with. One guy in particular, his name's Josh. He's just a buddy of mine. Uh, we literally live less than a half mile from each other. Uh, we're actually going out this weekend uh, for, for a trip. Um, he's, a, he's a great guy and uh, we tend to just go out the two of us a lot of times backpacking. We've gone with other people. We did uh, Grayson Highlands with uh, 
hunter's trip and Miyagi and trips on the trail, uh, which was really cool. We've gone down to Alabama and hiked with crow flies hiking. That's been fun. I find I like, I'm okay with bigger groups for trips, but for me personally, I probably like more of the two, three or four people. Yeah, that's what, that's what I like. All right, Terry Weaver. I love to go hiking and backpacking. I get out when life permits me. My wife thinks I have no business playing in the woods. I should be at home. Uh, how can I start a conversation with her to loosen the reins and let me go? Play in the woods, as she says it. I would. I want to go out on my first overnighter so bad. Terry, have your wife talk to my wife, because my wife knows if I don't go out after a while, I go crazy, and then she has to deal with it. Uh, there comes a point where eventually my wife kicks me out of the house to go backpacking, because she knows how, like, anxious I get when I don't get outside. As a matter of fact, this week, um... She's really happy that I'm getting on a trip. All right, Trailhead Junkie is asking, what are some of your favorite YouTubers to watch besides Mr. King of Kentucky Backpacking? Also, what are some of your favorite outdoor clothing and shoe brands? Looking forward to seeing your, uh, see this video. Cheers, well thank you, Trailhead Junkie, appreciate that. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a couple YouTubers maybe you've not heard of before that I really like. Um, one of them is MK Ultra. Uh, I think it's Michael Kirkpatrick. Uh, He's just got a ridiculous sense of humor. Um, he's just one of those, his videos are basically just funny. And uh, he's he's not got a huge channel or anything, but I don't know, I think he's funny. I think I think he's got such a dry sense of humor and he makes me laugh, so a uh, big fan of, of his channel. Uh, Southern Hikes, that's been a fun channel to watch grow. Uh, it's a couple out of North Carolina, uh, really cool people. Um, they're, they're a married couple that like to get out and get into the woods, which is really cool. I'm a little jealous because, like I said, my wife doesn't like to backpack. So uh, it is cool to watch them get to do that. Oh, man, I got one channel I love to watch, but it doesn't make videos anymore. It drives me crazy, and that's Tuba Solo the Hiker. Um, I don't know what it is about him. I get into these guys that have dry humor, and Tuba, he's got some dry humor. He's, his videos always started off with, like, this Western-themed music and a bullwhip and this black and white picture of him. And I always thought his videos were just great, but uh, he hasn't done it in a while. So uh, hopefully, hopefully he'll get back to that. If not, he's got a back library we can go back and watch. All right, Billy Sipes, if you were to buy a new quilt today, one to rule them all, Enlightened Equipment or UGQ? I can't say Enlightened Equipment's worse than UGQ. I just know that I love UGQ and I have a ton of their gear. This next question is from the Backpacking Podcast YouTube channel. Somebody asked this question of me and I thought, well, if I'm already doing a Q&A video, might as well answer this one as well. And this is from Whitney Brown. She says, how do we get JK merch? I'd probably wear it this summer as me and the family hike the gorge. That's a great question. I'll tell you where you can get it, at this website right here. Uh, you can also get it, there's a link in the description below where if you guys wanna check out some JK merch, go check it out. Uh, just started making merch, um, still figuring things out, things will change, there'll be new stuff that comes in, old stuff that goes out. Uh, but right now I got some cool stuff going on, some logo stuff and uh, some Stay Strong Hike Long shirts and hats and things. So if you want any of that stuff, uh, click on the link below so that you guys can check that stuff out. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was kind of fun answering the questions. And until next time, Stay Strong Hike Long, I will catch you on the next go round.